Greetings all, Devious Monkey. Uh, okay, this is the third time I've shot video today. I'm really, like, I don't know what my problem is lately. I haven't been able to actually do a video once and have it work out the way that I wanted it to. The problem with the second one that I did on what I'm gonna show you was that I changed the settings on my Atomos Ninja 5 and didn't change a setting on the Sony a6600. So it recorded all of the screen info on the footage, which obviously you don't need to see all that. So I'm like, oh, damn it. So I had to go back and do it all again. So here I am with today's video. Today I wanna to talk about the box of treasures that I found. I had a box, a 10 by 10 by 10 box up in one of my closets, shoved way up on the top shelf and it said cam gear. And I was like, I, I honestly didn't remember what was in the box. So I decided that I was gonna pull it down and look at everything. Here's where one of life's great mysteries occurred. Again, 10 by 10 by 10. So it's the same dimension all the way around. And no matter how I maneuvered that box, I could not get it down because it was too big to fit through the gap. So, I kept pulling on it and pulling it and twisting it and turning it and everything. I have no idea how I got that damn thing up there. No idea whatsoever. I do not know. It would not go anywhere along that. It's a metal shelf, so I couldn't have bent the metal shelf to put it up there. I couldn't have like warbled the house structure to get it up there. I got a 10 by 10 by 10 box stuck up on the top shelf of a, of a freaking closet filled with camera gear, and I don't know how I got the damn box up there or how to get it down. So what did I do? I got out my knife and I cut the damn thing open, let everything fall out, and then I crushed the box and pulled it down. Now, I did have my wife, when she came home, look at it. She tried, she could not get that box back on the shelf. And she just looked at me, because she knows that if something stupid and weird's gonna happen, it's gonna happen to me. So, the mystery of the box. All right, inside the box was a bunch of old camera gear. There were like old firing things, like wireless strobe fires. There was a bunch of straps. There was old compact flash cards that, I mean, that was way back in my, in my initial cameras, my initial Canon cameras when, when they were using compact flash instead of SD. You know, just a whole bunch of crap in there. But the one thing that was in there, and I had been looking for this for a while, was my cotton carrier. And this whole system here is designed to be able to, and here, let me show you. It has this little thingamajigger here in the middle that holds a special connector. And the connector goes into the bottom of your camera, and that way you're able to take the camera, and I'll, I'll give a demonstration, although it's not on there, and you put it on sideways, and then spin it, and then it just sits on your chest, and it, help, it, it just holds. It's very sturdy, and ain't going anywhere. So I used to shoot at the Renaissance Fair, which is notoriously dusty. There was no way that I was gonna do a lens change while I was there, but there's a lot of different things to shoot. So I used to do my 24 to 70 on one camera body and then my 70 to 200 on a second body. And then I don't have it connected, but down along the side here, they had another thing that held there with this kind of connector so that you could carry two bodies. I wore this thing everywhere for years because again, I used to take my cameras with me everywhere and I used to wear it and I loved it. Then I moved here and it was in a box somewhere, never to be seen again. And so I finally found it, yay. Now, the reason that I looked for this and I thought that it was in that box was because of this thing. This is a backpack plate clamp that has the GoPro type fitting on it so that you can strap this off to you know, a backpack strap or, or a jacket or something like that. I have like this thing, you literally like it's, I can't do it with one hand. You literally got to have both your hands on there to get that thing to open up. And the idea was that I wanted something sturdy so that I could, there, put that up there. And now I can do point of view videos. And I can take this out and show you when I go on a photo walk, is what they're calling it, I guess. And, and show you the footage. I guess point of view videos are kind of big these days with all the kids. I watch another creator, Stuart Rodwell. He goes on photo walks all the time, usually with his stepdaughter, who's a wonderful model. And he takes all these awesome pictures and everything and he records it and this is what he uses. So he had a link to it on his last video 
And I decided, you know what, that'd probably be a good idea. It'll give me something fun to do when I'm out shooting and I can get some per perspective shots or whatever. We'll see what happens. So that was why I dug out this cotton carrier so I have this. The other thing that I found in the box was a wide angle lens. Kind of like the Ulanzi lens that everybody's using. Now, we all know that I'm using the Zome. And if you hold it up against to, next to this one, you can see it is a big size difference. So I thought that I would give it a whirl and see how it works. Now, what I found though, is that when I put this on here, it has a good amount of vignetting. You can see the round parts at the corners of the screen. You gotta hit the zoom button to get rid of that vignetting. And I haven't figured out if the amount of screen real estate that I lose is worth that. Now, the only reason that I would, would use that lens, one, I've got it, why not? Two, is that it's because it's so much smaller. It, it makes it easier not to smack it and hit it with my fingers and stuff, because I do hit that Zome lens a lot, you know, when I'm out and about roaming around and doing stuff. There was other crap in that box, but it literally was just crap. But the nice thing about it is that for the most part, I don't throw shit away, which is why I have tons of drawers and tons of boxes filled with old photo and video gear and all that kind of stuff and electronic gear. And you never know when you're going to come full circle and use something that you thought you weren't going to use anymore, perhaps in a different way. Now I didn't have to spend any money because I already had this thing. So I'm happy that I found it. I'm happy that it's going to work the way that I want it to work. And that's really all I got for you today. I just wanted to show you the toys and then whine about the fact that I had to shoot this video like three times because I'm an idiot. So learn your gear. huh? Okay. That's all I got for you today. As always, Thanks for joining me. Like, subscribe, and all that shit. And remember, kids, forward and up.